Thursday today, which is technically the first day of Crick, but only for people that bought like an early access ticket, so you can go into the show early. Generally speaking, it's for people that have kind of already got their eyes set on something and they just want to buy big stuff. We're not doing that. We can go to it later when it opens to the general public. There's a couple of like little eventy things on. But for now, we're just doing our last bits of tidying. So Amy's giving the boat a blitz. I'm going to take one of the cassettes over to the wharf to empty and then we can have a bit of time to relax maybe sneak into the camping spot for some showers and then chill we're halfway through cleaning and our neighbors are here we're hoping that they're just going to be all right mooring on us rather than swapping all the boats around nice it's also their first time and we offered to see if they wanted to swap and they were fine be on the outside so yep rufus isn't barking they really like rufus and rupee mm. and the boat is also looking pretty tidy Ta -da! tidy boat Boat's all tidy. Now we're just doing one last quick trip to the bins. Then we've heard that you can use the showers in the camping area. I hope you can because I've got hair dye on right now. <laughs> so we're going to try that, see how it goes. But it's really nice now because everything's ready. Boat's clean, we'll be clean. And then we can hang out with more boaty people. And then my sister's also coming with a friend there in the camping site from tomorrow but it's the first time that she's seen the boat as well so that'd be really nice and she'll get to see it in probably the best state it's ever been in <laughs> it feels so nice as well because the boat's finally getting to how we want it slowly but surely we're making our little changes it isn't looking good <laughs> Hmm. Can't see anything that looks remotely showery. It's all good. <laughs> we asked uh, one of the marshals and it's just a quarter of a mile. On the opposite end of the site is the campsite basically. So we should be good. It's exciting. There it is. I can't wait. got into the showers. <laughs> they were really nice actually. At least we've still got plenty of water in our tank for if we need showers. Because we can't really move it back to the water point anymore because we've been moored on, wedged yeah. in. And... <laughs> now we can just relax for the rest of the weekend and not have to worry about water. So it's Thursday evening and the preview show has been on all day today, but it opens at 5.30 p.m for everyone so we're gonna put our wristbands on and we're gonna go and I think there's some music and food stalls and drinks and stuff so it's very exciting. Oh dear. Oh come on! It's stuck to my skin. Let's fold it in. Let's go! Whee! We're in Crick. It looks pretty big, but everything's currently like closed up for the day because today was just the preview day. And that's quite convenient because we don't really want any spoilers when we look around it tomorrow. <laughs>
It's Friday and it's the first day of Crick. We're super excited. We're also a little bit tired though because we've done so much socializing already over the last few days. We're not used to that, but it's been really nice and we're super excited to get stuck in. So first things first, my sister and her friend have arrived at the campsite. So after we've had our little breakfast, we're gonna go over there. Then we're gonna come back to the boat, get changed and head into the show. Come and get it then if you want it. See ya. <laughs> he likes his bed in the daytime. <laughs> we weren't too sure how big Crick really was because we've never been, but there's a lot of traffic all the way up and down this road. It must be quite busy and the car parks are huge. It's about five minutes to ten and there's already a massive queue. Car parks are rammed. It's crazy. So the queue starts over there by those tent and it goes all the way down, right down to over there. Ooh. Have you got your present? All right. <laughs> meeting you all and we just went into Kev. He was giving us a paint tin opener. Yes, finally. <laughs> so for anyone that doesn't know, I'm a bit of a menace with reopening tins of paint and I've driven screwdrivers through a few of them and they've gone off as a result. So no more. I was thinking the other day we need one of them. So yeah. thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Tiller pins and trolley mate. Trolley mate. The brolly mates on our shopping list, but the tillipins aren't, but they're really nice. <laughs> Tim's over there from chugging along. <laughs> Whoa, that looks like a good board game. <laughs> We're getting some of this stuff for the for the mattress to stop the mould and it just lets loads of air through. So it can breathe. Oh it's in. We've got a few goodies today and we're headed back to the boat now. We were hoping to have a bit of barbecue but it's raining so we might just cook in the boat tonight and then have a barbecue on a different night. But it's been really good so far. Day one of Crick in the daytime done. Today's just been a scoping in out, having a look. So tomorrow we're gonna try and maybe look on some boats and have a look at like the marquees and stuff. But it's been so lovely meeting you all again. Thank you everyone that said hello. And yeah, we're tired and hungry. <laughs> so back to the boat. Oh, absolutely knackered. I've been trying not to doze off. It's only day one. On a scale of one to ten, how excited are you? in the middle of the, the David Bowie tribute set. It's really good. It is really loud and because we're so close you can actually hear the music from the boat and I think it's just throwing Rufus off. He's a bit confused but I've just checked the cameras and he's sat in the crutch. I think he's gone to sit there because Rupee's there so there's a little bit of comfort. Rupee doesn't care, he's just eating. He's okay. 
You may. It's a bit annoying as well because normally we put the TV on or something and just leave it on just for the background noise, but <laughs> we've got such rubbish signal. Can't get anything to play. Heading back now. Hopefully that's him settled now. Keep checking on him. But he should be all right and we're not too far away. So let's go. Day one of Crick, officially done. So we're trying to be quiet because of the neighbours. We've had a lovely time. It's been amazing speaking to everyone, listening to the music and seeing everything. I think we're just going to have a cup of tea now. Go straight to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Day two of Crick, we're up bright and early, we've had some breakfast and we're going to try and get on some of the boats today and have a little nosy, just see if we can get some ideas or just add things to our shopping list. Yeah. We're about to go on an Oakham's boat, which I think is Lord of the Rings theme, which is yeah. super cool. It's really pretty. So we're just waiting in the queue now. We've got actual proper locks. Ours is a proper lock. Shh. Oh yes. <laughs> Look at this little shoe area. That's cute, isn't it? I actually quite like the fact that it's kind of segmented. It's like a little room. Mm. Well, then you won't be able to shout. Where's well, your cup of tea? It's a bit of storage. Isn't it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Slightly early. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Amy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Had a lovely lunch, had a bit of cake, quite full now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the first time I think this week that we've actually eaten a proper lunch. <laughs> so that's nice. Now we're going to head back here and see if we can look at small boats. <laughs> what we really do with a camping chair. <laughs> Excellent. They fold down to this big, which is very convenient. So it tip backwards into the canal. <laughs> he looks, he looks so sm like the chair looks so small. Anyone recognise this, this beast? Is it the same one? I'm pretty sure it's the same one. We were right. This was the boat at Boat Life Live, and apparently it sold at that show, and the owner is now waiting to get this boat. <laughs> But they were already committed to showing it off at this show first. Definitely doesn't feel any smaller than last time, it's still, still crazy big. Really weird because this boat is up on stilts which is what it would be like when we get our boat blacked so it's really weird being this high up in a boat and just seeing the ground all the way down there rather than up here this is the shiny duck shelf only the shiniest ducks are allowed this one's got an incinerator toilet which basically sets your poo on fire Crush your enemies into the ceiling. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Kezia and Emma have just left. We've had an absolutely lovely day. That's the end of our second Crick day. It's so cool to see so many boats, used boats, new boats, get loads of ideas. Mm -hmm. and We've got a bit of time between the musicy stuff and we're gonna grab some food. Might try one of the vendors here. It's a bit expensive, but just for the... When in Rome or when <laughs> at Crick. Just thought I'd do a little haul that we've got so far. We got some bits. The lovely Kezia and Emma got us some little gifts and I got some reusable fleece face pads. 
a lovely beautiful soap and rufus got a dog shampoo soap from the brand fred and betty rufus got a lead that matches the ropes of the boat how cute is that that's amazing wes got a camping chair which folds up super duper small because we don't use them that often because we mainly sit on the roof but then perfect for barbecues when we've got friends over or we're going to visit other people's boats and then we got a piece of perseverance we absolutely love minimalist and we really aspire to be just like them and do the entire canal network that's one of our goals so this piece of wood has been in their boat on the entire network and hopefully it can come in hours for most of the network as well along with that we got one of the maps and we're going to color in all of the routes that we've done hopefully it'll be folded up Rufus is going loads. He's got a new toy, a new bandana. Finley and Nina were so kind and bought Rufus some treats. Oh, go on then. He's quite fussy with treats, so this is a good sign. We almost had a nap. <laughs> Amy had just enough internet to post a few things on our socials. And now heading back in with our new chairs for the last night we did have the intentions of cooking dinner as well but we don't really have time so we might try and get something from one of the vans amy's just assembling her chair <laughs> be done by the time the show's finished yeah bang <laughs> pretty cold. The main act is going to start soon, so we're just getting some pizza now. We're getting a vegan margarita from Handmade Pizza Company and some chips. Oh nice, I didn't know about that. <laughs> Had to be done, didn't it? We're all ready. Ready, we got the chips, we got the pizza. Terrifying queen. Dun, dun. <laughs> Sunday morning and we're both feeling quite tired. We've had a little bit of a lie in today because it's raining. The weather's not very nice. And we're gonna go and take Rufus a walk with our friends Rob and Isabel and their two dogs. Get yeah, some fresh air and then we're gonna come back and head into the show. Guess it, guess it, guess it. Guess it, guess it, guess it. <laughs> it's the third and final day of Crick today. Today's mainly going to be buying little bits here and there that we need to. The more boring stuff, I guess. But it's nice just to have one last kind of easy, easy going day to round it off. I don't want it to end. Yeah, it's been really nice. Yeah. Wes is also very excited because we're matching outfits today. Kind of unintentionally, but I think Wes did it on purpose. Wanted one of these for ages called Brolly Mates. You stick it on the tiller and then you can have a washing line attached to the tiller. Stocking up on some of the less exciting things. <laughs> it's really convenient having it here though rather than having to try and get it delivered somewhere. So we're gonna. And it's 10% off everything. Yeah. We've been looking for some of this stuff for so long to do the roof so we can get rid of some of the rust. This fridge freezer is so nice and it's so cheap and it's 12 volt. Oh well, my god. It's cheap for a 12 volt that big anyway. Imagine all the freezer space. Our freezer 
Is this big? Just imagine how many chips we could store in that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> We've been wanting to get Rufus a life jacket for ages. So he's finally got one from Up Boy. We hope it fits him. <laughs> the guy was actually really good because we've left Rufus on the boat because he's a bit overwhelmed and we forgot that we were going to try and find him a life jacket. But he has this catalogue of loads of pictures of loads of different breeds and all the sizes and how it fits. So we found one that was a Whippet Lurch across and it looked pretty good. So. About to check out a shell and see what a sail away is like. There's nothing in it. Whoa! Basically, for anyone that doesn't know, a shell is kind of what you'd expect and that you get the steel, you get the insulation and the sort of basic structural pieces. And the rest is up to you. It's kind of like a, like a blank canvas of a boat. Yeah, so you can build up the, which walls you'd like to add. You can get some with the electrics already done for you and then you turn it into something like this. I don't know how people manage though, how they'd be like, oh, I'll have a light switch there. Yeah, <laughs> how do you make those kind of decisions? Yeah. <laughs> Comparison, this is a wide beam shell. It's like a sports hall. <laughs> Some of you might recognise this boat if you're avid Cruising the Cut fans. And it just so happens that this belongs to one of our subscribers. So we're going to have a look and we're excited. It's got so much character as well. I love it. Yeah, it's really nice. And if you haven't seen the video describing more about this boat, we'll link it up here. This side? We'll link it here. It feels very um, much more spacious as well. Than yeah. Because I think whenever you see angles like this, in footage it looks quite tight, but it is quite pretty. Mm. Everyone that comes on this boat has to have a feel of the worm tops. Because they're so, so nice. nice. So here's the bed orientation, which is very different, but it's really useful because you can flop it up and then you can still walk out and have a look at the bow and sit in the bow. And then when you want to, you can flop it down and then your bed's made and ready to go. And then you've got a nice full Full width. bed, yeah, and yeah. You've still got all the storage. And the storage is easily accessible as well, not like ours where you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Takes about half an hour to get into it. Yeah. This is what our engine should look like. It's not quite as shiny, is it? What about a big mooring pin? Well, it's just got a mooring pin. Come on! Get down there! Hello, you two. Hello. 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 We're gonna head off now. It's pretty much closing time anyway. All the stalls are uh, Shutting closing up, down. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna head back to the boat, check on the pets, and then we're gonna go to the local pub where a bunch of our friends are. It's been absolutely lovely though. We've loved our first crick, haven't we? Yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah. A little bit sad to go. Yeah. It's over, but that has been amazing. And we're gonna put some pictures of everyone that has been tagging us in your lovely pictures. So keep an eye out for yourselves. We've absolutely loved meeting you all. Thank you to everyone that said hello. It's, we didn't expect honestly anyone to recognize <laughs> us. So it was so lovely how many of you that we've met yeah. and we have loved it. So thank you again, thank you've you so much. made our year. <laughs> We've come back and our neighbours have uh, headed off. They were so lovely. There's been a few free spots up there, so I think they've moved up, they said.
We had a lovely meal at the Wheat Sheaf pub with just a bunch of our booty friends. And then we had a little wander sort of around each other's boats and just yeah, had a bit of a nosy. had a nosy at Wayne and Amanda's boat from Narrowboat Aiken. And we had a wander around One More Day Aboard's boat. And that is beautiful. We'll put their link down below there, fellow vloggers. And we had drinks on Maxine and Steve's boat, Never Too Late. We'll put those down below. And then they came round to our boat and gave gave them all a tour <laughs> as well. So it's so lovely just hanging out with fellow fellow boaty friends and getting ideas from each other and it's just really nice. Yeah, we're gonna be sad to to all separate and go yeah. our different ways, but it's a big part of boating is just having these friendships and then just seeing not knowing when you're gonna see each other next. It's it's a very special kind of friendship, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. One other thing as well is that during Crick Boat Show, at some point, we're not quite sure because the internet's been so bad, but at some point we hit 3,000 Yay! subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you all for coming on this journey, whether you've been with us from the start or whether you have recently found us. We appreciate every single one of you and it's so, so amazing that we've even got to 3,000. I can't believe it. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you. And a huge thank you to our buy me a coffee chip gifters this week william and maddie the westy mike and jude and tina we hope you enjoyed coming along to crick with us and remember to click on all those lovely buttons to stay up to date